Alright, what is going on beautiful people? Hope you're having a beautiful day because I'm having a beautiful day. So, I'm just getting warmed up a little bit, doing a little bit of shoulder mobility exercises just to warm everything up before I go into a good old set of overhead presses. We're trying to get up a max of five, I think it's five reps. I'm gonna have to double check, it might be three or five. But um, yeah, gonna try and hit as heavy as I possibly can. So I'm gonna take you through that, kicking it off here. So here we go, let's get started. All right, so just warming it up. Shooting for a three rep max. I'm gonna try and shoot for 60 for three reps, which will be a increase of 2.5 kilos on each side. So that'll be perfect. It's gonna hit that up, gonna keep warming up and then shoot for a three rep max. you're getting set for rep maxes, you want to increment up and increment up so you can warm yourself up. If you just jump straight into a five rep max, you're going to absolutely shock the shit out of your body and you're just not going to be ready for it. Alright, so I'm going for a three rep max of 60 kilos. This will be a five kilo increase of a three rep max in uh, two, three weeks. Hitting uh, three back off sets of eight reps. I'm shooting for 50 kilograms. All right, so that went up real good. So a little tip for you guys when you're doing overhead press is to squeeze your glutes. That's gonna keep your body straight. It's gonna stop any overarching in your back. Also, tensing your abs. It's gonna keep you stable. That's the main important thing for this exercise because it is very demanding uh, in keeping yourself upright and obviously pressing things overhead. That's gonna draw a lot of tension into your midsection, your core, and you wanna be stable. So that's it, gotta do two more sets. Gonna hit this one. Alright, next exercise is the incline dumbbell press. We're going for three sets, 10 reps, heavily as we possibly can. I'm shooting for 32.5, getting that pretty comfortably, but the problem with dumbbells is you can't really go up that high, so I might do an extra set of, say, six to eight reps for 35 kilos. So this is the second set, I'm gonna get into it. Final set, done three sets of 10 reps. Just gonna drop it down and do one more set of six to eight reps just to try and break through those plateaus. So that was alright, got six reps up, but I was a little bit gassed, so I couldn't get it up as comfortably as I would like. I'm gonna shoot for three sets of 10 reps on the dumbbell laterals, with the final set being a drop set to failure. So what you wanna focus on is bringing the side deltoid, the lateral head, straight up and that's gonna instantly contract it. And if you think about starting with the lat, with the lateral head, then you're gonna be using it throughout the majority of the movement. So that's what you wanna focus on, initially starting with that.
Flat dumbbell flies, three sets, 10 reps, really trying to focus on the chest purely and take it slow, feel the squeeze, don't be too sporadic on the contraction. Final set of chest, three sets of the pec deck. What we're doing is 10 reps, trying to get that out clean, and then five assisted reps. And then on the final rep, we're doing a force negative where if you have a spotter, get the spotter to push against it and you're gonna resist it. And that's really gonna break down like tons and tons of muscle fibers in your chest. So we're doing redoubts now, so three sets of the reverse pec deck, keeping the, your arm parallel with the floor. It's really gonna help you engage your rear deltoid. Three sets, 10 reps. On to another rear delt exercise. It is the reverse cable fly. So the rear delts is what's gonna give you that 3D shape in your shoulder. So it's very important to hit them, you know, just cause you can't see them, you can't neglect them because they're gonna give you so much shape and they're a very important muscle. So three sets of 12 to 15 reps, really trying to squeeze back in the rear delts. <laughs> All right, so onto the tricep portion of this push workout. So starting off with dips, we're doing three sets of eight reps. on here is keeping your elbows like pinched in to your sides that's gonna overload it onto the triceps more or less than the chest and shoulders so that's it next exercise all right final exercise for today is the tricep push downs we're doing a close grip and what we're doing is letting our elbows come forward and then just extending with the elbows Final exercise, what you want to do is 10 reps comfortably uh, with good form and then go in towards the cable so you get a little bit more leverage and then pulse out some reps. They're gonna go upstairs, this imposing, and then uh, get a feed on. All right. I haven't had a chest bump like this in a while. All right, so the push workout's all done. Gonna head home, get in a little bit of a meal. All right, what I've got here is 100 grams of the rice bubbles, 250 mils of the almond milk, and two scoops of the best protein in the world, man. Yeah! Cocoa cereal flavor! Actually, wait, no, it's strawberry! Shit! And I've also got a tablespoon of honey because that was a beast mode workout. Got it in, got real good. Did a lot of volume as well, which is great. So I consume this and then uh, do a tiny little bit of work. And then after that, I'm gonna be heading to Starbucks with my girlfriend Tani. We're gonna have a coffee. She's gonna do a little bit of uni work. I'm gonna do a little bit of writing and we'll get that in. Okay, so obviously I can't go to Starbucks in this attire, right? I've got just about no shirt on, so I gotta get changed. What I'm gonna do it is get changed real quick, like real quick. All right, that didn't work. The fuck are you doing? Hit it, I'm you from the future. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm really feeling the black right now. That's what I'm doing. Black, black is black. I feel like, you know, I can gain a little bit of inspiration from being uh, dressed in black. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head to Starbucks right now. Pretty nice day outside, so maybe we'll find somewhere to sit outside instead. We'll see, I'll catch you soon. Ooh, all right, so heading to the most manly place on earth right now. You're gonna end up being able to Alright, so I got a coffee, just a regular latte, no sugar pretty much. What'd you get? I'm gonna get caramel frappuccino. Caramel Great. frappuccino. This is Tani's first ever white girl experience at Starbucks. What are your thoughts? So good. Eight out of eight, would rate? Seven out of seven, take me to heaven. Take me to heaven. So Tani has just given up on uni life. How much did you just pay for notes? Uh, $17. $17, and it's probably worth it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So I will just postpone this and then when I get home, I'm gonna upload it and I'll catch it in. Ooh, all right, back now. We got me a delicious bowl of Ertz. What it is, is Ertz, blueberries, peanut butter, peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter, oats, peanut butter, blueberries, protein powder, sprinkle our pink salt and what I would usually put in here is also bananas, but I've run out. So I'm just gonna have a plethora of blueberries. All right, so. A few autofocus, god damn. All right, so I was gonna go have a look for a little chair because I broke my little chair because I'm a little fatty. We found this little place, which used to be the place I came to to pick up furniture, etc. And now it's like stuff that has been lost in post office. They sell that and proceeds go to charity, which is cool. Actually so much stuff here. It's insane. Piece three, is this legit? They're like these really are dope. rare. Are they rare? Oh, what do you really do with these? Is this like it's a so drink? Fun. Is it a drinking game or? Um, salt, you can make it a drinking game. I don't drink, so it's all good. Oh. Why do they sell food in a stationary freaking company? So this is like kind of turning into like a Costco. yeah, or like a uh, what do Americans call it? Walmart. To what we're really here for. This one's real clean, and I like white. Goes back a little bit. Do these go up? These go up for some reason. I don't know why. It's like I'm in a plane. Ooh. It's got great aerodynamic velocity. What does that mean? Can you only use a chair for three and a half hours? Get out of my office. So, chairs in there weren't great. I'm gonna, yeah, have a look online because that's where everything should be done, online. I'm gonna go get a protein Mars bar from this uh, supplement store for this one so she can have a little guilty pleasure and I'll see you in a second. Ooh, all right, so this is like, Half Mars bar, half protein bar, pretty damn good. I'm sure you guys have had like a Quest bar. They're terrible compared to this stuff. Mm. All right. All right, so the macros are 4.6 grams of fat, 22 carbs, and 19 grams of protein. That is pretty good for a protein bar that tastes this good. Woo! All right, so back home, just gonna snack on a little banana. All right, but anyway, um, gonna have to do this because I am lacking in potassium. Hashtag potassium. It is getting very dark right now, and me personally, I do not like filming in the dark. I need some light. Hope you enjoyed the little workout in the beginning. Give it a go. Hope that you gained some value from my tips, and if you did, let me know. If you have any questions, also let me know. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed watching, because I enjoyed making it. I will catch you in the next one later. Oh.